Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about the Wi-Fi setup that we've got in our new van. So as you probably know already, I'm a bit of a geek when it comes to everything Wi-Fi, routers, all that kind of tech setup and everything. So we thought today we'd share with you what we've been testing out in our new van. Um, so it's this, um, it's a GLINet uh, Spitz AX router and uh, we've been lucky enough to be testing one of these. Uh, it's a 5G router. I'll go into all the specs and everything in a minute, but let me give you a bit of a kind of overview of what we've got here in the van. So uh, having decent Wi-Fi in the van is really important to us. Uh, not least because, as you know, we make videos. Uh, we like to do them when we're out and about. Sometimes we like to upload them when we're out and about as well. We've got busy home lives as well. So if we happen to be out in the van doing a pub stop over, something like that, want to do a video, edit it up, upload it, all that stuff, we're really keen to do that while we're out and about. So decent van Wi-Fi for us, really important. We also don't have a TV in the van. Um, we tend to stream whatever we want to watch. So sometimes we might use all four or Netflix or whatever. And we like to be able to have a decent network connection to be able to stream that onto a tablet or our laptop or whatever. So really important that we have good Wi-Fi. Uh, we've decided to have a shark fin antenna fitted on the roof of the van, so screwed to the roof of the van, cables brought inside and all that stuff, and for that we've got a pointing MIMO 3-17, uh, which uh, for anyone who hasn't seen the video before, we've done a video about different antennas and those kind of things. Uh, it's the black shark fin antenna, it's on the roof, and we've had the cables fitted into one of our front cupboards here. At the same time as we had the cables fitted and the antenna fitted and everything, I didn't do that, wasn't brave enough to drill through the roof. Uh, we also had a 12 volt uh, fused power supply put in there as well. So that's just uh, basically a couple of cables terminated off uh, with a fuse in and that's so we can wire in a router to be able to use it in the van and 12 volts. So that's wired into the leisure battery. Now, that's then when we started looking around for what router we're going to use. Now, you'll have seen before we've tested various things, we've tested a Teltonica RUTX50, uh, which is a really good router, kind of metal cased and everything else, uh, 4x4 router, uh, MIMO 4x4, uh, really works well with that antenna too. Um, and we also tested a little tiny MiFi dongle um, with external antenna sockets. Now, we were really excited when GLINet, uh, GLINet uh, reached out to us and asked us to test this uh, Spitz AX. Because the if you remember the Teltonica router that we had, we were really impressed with, but we were lent it. Um, and uh, we were looking around to what router to buy. And when GLINet reached out and said, did we, did we want to test this Spitz AX, we thought, yes, definitely want to test this because we haven't got a router for the van yet. So makes perfect sense to give it a try. So let's just run over a few specs of this first of all and why it feels like it could be the best possible option for uh, van life and for um, decent Wi-Fi in the van. So um, things which are important for a van. Runs off 12 volt, um, so yes, uh, obviously comes with a power adapter, UK power adapter and everything as well, 240 volt adapter, but it is just a normal DC um, power jack on the back uh, which takes 12 volt and we've wired it into the van here to test that off the leisure battery and everything works a treat no problem with any of that um, it's got wi-fi built in um, and it's got external antenna sockets for the wi-fi so although it comes with all the antennas that you can install on it like you can see in the picture there uh, they unscrew and they allows you to screw in antennas if you've got them built into your own antenna so that's wi-fi and there's two aerial sockets for the wi-fi there's four aerial sockets for the uh, cellular, so for the 4G, 5G, 2G, 3G, the decommissioning at, uh, decommissioning at the moment, so you won't get 3G anyway. Uh, but 2G, 4G and 5G, um, it's technically a 4x4 MIMO router as well, um, and obviously that means when you've got four cables uh, for cellular coming from your antenna, you can plug all of those into this. You've got six aerials effectively plugged into this or six uh, six aerial connections 
doesn't have GPS, um, so unlike the IETX50, uh, the Teltonica router that we tried before, doesn't have a seventh connector for GPS, so you can't use this as kind of a remote tracking kind of thing uh, that the Teltonica can do. We weren't going to use that anyway in, in our application. Uh, other nice things it's got, so it's got two SIM card slots, um, so uh, we've got a 1P mobile SIM in here which runs on EE, an unrestricted uh, speed, unrestricted bands and everything, so full EE uh, network coverage SIM that we're using in here. We're also thinking about maybe getting a 3 SIM as a backup. Um, obviously the software inside the router can do automatic switching between signal strength things, uh, so if you run out of signal on one it'll switch over to your other one and it does all that kind of stuff automatically if you want it to and you configure to do that. Uh, it's got extremely fast Wi-Fi, so it's got Wi-Fi 6 built in uh, which is, uh, if I get this right, 802.ax. Um, so you might be remember, you might have heard of AC Wi-Fi before. This has got AX Wi-Fi, uh, and um, yeah, it, incredibly fast Wi-Fi on this. So you're never going to outpace the. Um, Oh, you're never going to outpace the Wi-Fi with your 5G connection because the the Wi-Fi from the router will be able to keep up no problem at all. I think the other things which are really useful from a, a van life perspective or having it in a van is how you mount it. Uh, because sometimes, you know, routers come with little uh, kind of indents on the back where you can screw a couple of screws into a wall and then hook it on, that kind of thing. This goes one stage further than that. And I really like this. Included in the box comes a plastic backing plate, uh, which it clips to. So it kind of slides onto it. And then it also includes a reusable sticky pad for that backing plate. Um, so on one side of the sticky pad it's permanent, so you stick that to the back of the plastic, and then the other side is a reusable um, uh, kind of sticky which you can then stick to the inside of a cabinet or a you know anywhere really. Um, we've obviously put it inside our cabinet, works perfectly. Um, so when you want to take the router in and out, you can just unclip it off the off the plastic mount under your aerials and everything. Bring it in if you want to. Um, if you want to put it back, you just literally clip it back on. Jobs are good and sits there perfectly. Um, it's not too big, the router itself isn't too big, it's not too chunky, doesn't take up too much space. Uh, it's got simple little noddy lights on the front of it to tell you whether you're connected to the internet and your Wi-Fi's up and all of that kind of thing. Uh, obviously it's got 2.4 gig Wi-Fi as well as 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, goes without saying uh, these days. So really, really decent quality router and it feels good in the hand as well. It's not one of these kind of cheap plasticky things that if you squeeze it, it kind of feels like the plastic's going to break. Really good solid router. Um, so in terms of uh, speed testing and why you'd want one of these routers in the van and why you go to all that hassle of having a uh, decent roof aerial and all that kind of thing when you've basically got a phone. So why why would you? Well, it's all to do with the metal box that you happen to be sitting in. So, you know, we're inside the van now. This is a metal box, basically, and it's uh, not very good for radio signals. So if you've ever noticed when you're in uh, your van and you look at your phone signal, you know, I've got two bars of signal here. I'd usually have much more than that in the van. Um, it, uh, sorry, outside the van. So if I went and stood outside the van, I'd have much more than two bars. And th this phone's on EE as well. Whereas when you've got an aerial on the roof and then a router inside the van, obviously what that's doing is gathering the signal from outside and then bringing it inside the van for you with the Wi-Fi. So we did a quick uh, speed test just to show you the difference between uh, having um, a connection to the Wi-Fi of the router in the van and then obviously uh, using EE through 1P Mobile, what that speed looks like. And then I did one minute later, same position inside the van with my phone. I've got an iPhone 13 Pro. Did the same test as a speed test from my phone just on EE without the Wi-Fi. And you'll be able to see the difference really clearly between those two. A huge difference. And it's upload, which is really important to us in the van when we're doing videos. So when we've done a you know, particular YouTube video, um, it could be 10, 11, 12 gigabytes of data that we're trying to upload. And obviously you need a decent connection for that because, you know, that's going to take, even on a good connection, that can take two hours, two and a half hours to upload. Um, you know, if you've got a good download speed as well, we can watch a bit of telly, uh, stream a bit of, uh, of TV at the same time as we're uploading a YouTube video. Works okay. And actually, 
that's exactly what we did when we went to the Harrogate show. So the Harrogate show, our workflow for that was, we went to the show, uh, on the Saturday, filming on the Saturday during the day, edited a little bit of lunchtime, went back, did a bit more filming in the evening, pub car park, pub stop over nearby, finished off the video, uploaded the video while we were having a meal in the pub and then came back. It was just finishing off. We watched, a, I think it was an X-Files we watched. It finished off, did all the titling and other bits and pieces, jobs are good in and then the rest of the weekend's ours. So the workflow is really important for us. That's why we've got good Wi-Fi in the van. So hopefully that kind of gives you an explanation as to why it's really important to go to that effort of external aerial, decent router, uh, and uh, obviously it, um, it, it seems to make sense. The other thing we like about this Spitz AX is the fact that it's cheaper than the Teltonica. Um, so, I just had a quick look at the uh, the pricing and things online. Um, these sell through Amazon in the UK. Uh, they've got 30% off on Amazon. So they're meant to be 489. Uh, they've got 30% off, brings it down to 340-ish, 342, I think it is at the moment, pounds. Uh, obviously that comes with prime delivery. Um, and um, when you compare that to the IUTX 50, the very cheapest I can find that anywhere is four hundred pounds, um, and it retails generally about the five to six hundred pound mark. And I actually think, for ease of setup and general use, including fitting in the van and ease of fitting in the van with the fixtures and fittings you get, everything else, I think the Spitz AX beats the Teltonica. So yes, it's not in a metal case. It's not encased, you know, like a, a solid metal lump like the Teltonica. But let's be honest, it, it's it's in your van. It's not you're not mounting it in the middle of a, you know, a, a, a engine bay or a train carriage or something like that. This is your van. You're going to be careful with it anyway. And actually, in terms of specification and performance, this is, you know, easily on par with the Teltonica. Um, really impressed. It's cheaper than Teltonica. Like I say, easy to set up literally put the sim card in turn it on go to auto setup done it connects no problem at all wi-fi is all set up all done for you and actually for the money i think it's a real bargain you know especially think about things like the uh the netgear night hawks those kind of things those square ones that you see sometimes those are seven eight hundred pounds crazy money absolutely crazy money just have a look at the gli net offerings if you don't need 5G, they do do a 4G version as well. It's a lot cheaper. Um, but these days, if you want the speed, let's go for 5G. Try out the Spitz AX. We've been really, really impressed. And this is the router that we're going to use in the van. Um, so now it's installed, running. We've been using it over a week now in the van. Solid. Um, perfect. This is our choice of router. It's our choice of antenna, the pointing MIMO 317. Do check them out. Hopefully this has been helpful for you just to give you a bit of insight as to what we're using in the van. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you're using or if you're considering a decent Wi-Fi setup for the van. And stay tuned for more. Uh, thanks very much for watching. See you again soon for some more Camper Van Time.